stay tuned and let's do a top 10 Marvel comic characters wish list. Hello and welcome back to the channel, Dan Who Reviews. As always, my name is Dan W. Make sure you are following me on Instagram at It's Dan Who. And as Toy Fair is just around the corner and all these new reveals are going to be upon us, I thought it would be a fun time to do a top 10 wish list for Marvel Legends. Now, these are not my predictions. These are just my selfish needs for my own collection. So I stood there, had a look at the figures I had on display and thought, what characters would I like personally to fill gaps in my personal collection? So that is what I've done. I've got my clipboard out and I'm gonna do this top 10 style. Now, this top 10 list changes every day. This is just one I've ripped today. So they're not the most crazy characters or most wanted figures as such. More so the wish list that I need for my personal collection, but I'm curious to see if you agree with me. If these are figures we're yet to see done decently in Hasbro form. So let's get straight into it and let's go with number 10. I would like to see a brand new Toad. Now, Toad, believe it or not, was in the very first series of Marvel Legends way back in the Toy Biz days, and we haven't had him since then. Even though recently we have got Dr. Octopus and they like to reuse bodies. So I assume they could reuse that and give us a Toad. We sort of needed him for our sort of brotherhood of mutants, uh, our X-Men villains, if you will. So I do think that it's only a matter of time before we get a new Toad, but I personally would like a Toad to stand next to Magneto and whatnot in my collection. So number 10, Toad. Number nine is a bit of an oddball choice. And again, this is just someone that I would like to fill a gap in my collection. So at number nine, we're going with Overdrive from the Superior Foes of Spider-Man. Now we already have the rest of the collection and Hasbro last year at San Diego Comic-Con did show off a custom Overdrive figure in their display. Now they never revealed it, so that's usually a tease that it's coming and he's a simple figure that they could easily use reparts for that we've already got. He's all black with basically a, a biker helmet on and he has the ability to sort of control sort of mechanics and take over cars and whatnot. And he was basically the getaway driver for the superior foes of Spider-Man, which is Shocker, the female beetle, speed demon. Um, it's a fun story in the comic. They rob Silvermane's head and stuff like that. But yes, it's the last figure we need to complete that superior foes of Spider-Man team. So at the number nine, I would like Overdrive. At number eight is another simple figure that they could give us and someone who was predominantly in the new Spider-Man game last year. So that is Mr. Negative. I do think it's only a matter of time before Hasbro give us a Mr. Negative. We've seen Deadpool in that white suit very recently, so just a few tweaks and a new head, we could easily get a Mr. Negative. Even if they give us one from the PS4 sort of Gamerverse thing that they seem to be doing now, they could give us a Mr. Negative from the game or the comics, whatever they wanted to, it could easily fit into your collection. And it is a Spider-Man villain that I'm yet to have in my rogues gallery. They did it at the three and three quarter, uh, scale but yet to do it at six inch so at number eight i would like to see mr negative and number seven is an oddball x-men character that i just like the character design of and it is marrow now she's got like bones and stuff sticking out of her and like i just like the character design and it's a figure that we're yet to have in figure form for our shelf especially from hasbro um so yeah at number seven i would like to have Marrow. And number six is another easy one, and it's a character that we sort of need an update for for our Spider Man Rose Gallery. So I'm going for at number six, Norman. Osborne. Now they could have easily gave us an interchangeable Norman Osborne head with the Green Goblin, but they didn't. So they could just throw in a Norman Osborne head with any of the characters and we could put it on a suited body. It's so easy. So what I quite like the idea of if them giving us a new suited body with a Norman Osborne head, maybe a couple, one with an evil grin, maybe one looking a bit more stern, but then also throw in a jigsaw head. So at number six, I'm going for Norman Osborne slash 
Jigsaw, a new suited body with a couple of interchangeable heads, similar to what they did with Chameleon a while back when they gave us Jojo and Jameson and ha uh, Hammerhead and stuff like that. Sort of a figure like that with a simple body but a couple of heads to make different characters. So it would be really good to get a Norman Osborn and an updated Jigsaw to battle your Punishers and battle Daredevil and whatnot. Another Street Fog, which is very easy to do. They could give us, hit us maybe a Mr. Negative figure, but with a Norman Osborn head and a Jigsaw head all in the same pack. Very easily done. It's just a couple of heads that we need to complete characters and fill those gaps. So yeah, at number six, I'm going for Norman Osborn slash Jigsaw. Now, before I get into my top five, I just thought I'd throw in some honorable mentions. Now, these are figures I think Hasbro will give us eventually. So I thought I'd throw them out here. So I'm going for Mephisto, which I do think we're getting a future Doctor Strange wave, depending on if he appears in the MCU or not. But I do think Mephisto is only a matter of time. Madeline Pryor is the clone of Jean Grey. Again, only a matter of time before we get her for our X-Men collection. Another Spider-Man oddball villain, Spot. A very easy figure they could do, all white with some spots. I remember him from the comic, uh, not the, the animated series back in the 90s. Just a fun figure. They could give us like... Uh, limbs that come off and portals that you could stick to and stuff. Fun character maybe to have. Uh, so Spot is an honourable mention. And then anyone from the Serpent Society. I know some people hate them and think they're Z-list villains, but just think, when we have the full Serpent Society on our shelf, it will be epic. And they've already gave us plenty of characters like King Cobra, we've got the Constrictor, uh, we've got Madame Hydra, which is now uh, Viper. Um, so there's, they've given us some, but we need more. Got Cotton Mouth as well. So these are just a couple more they can give us. Black Mamba, the Rattler, Bushmaster, and Diamondback. They're just a couple that I would like that I think Hasbro, again, we'll get to eventually. So let's get into our top five. So at number five, I would like a double pack, an army builder pack, if you will, of some hand Ninjas. Now, I'm in the UK, but I did manage to get myself some of those articulated icons from the Fuchs uh, last year, but the import charges were ridiculous. So I could only get a couple for the shelf to sort of stand with Electra in my sort of uh, street for villains section. But I want some Marvel Legends hand ninjas. They've given us some before, so it's only a matter of time before we get an updated figure of hand ninjas. So at number five, I would like some hand ninjas with lots of accessories and weapons and different heads with masks and not masks and stuff like that. So hand ninjas, number five. At number four, again, I think it's inevitable, but it is a classic uh, Falcon. So we're getting the Falcon and Winter Soldier TV show this year, and we may get a, a, a Marvel Legends wave to accompany that release. We don't know, but we might. Maybe just a couple of oddball exclusives and stuff like that. But I do think Hasbro will give us an updated comic book Falcon, where we even get a little Red Wing accessory packing with the figure. So yeah, at number four, I would like, and think we will get, uh, a comic-based Falcon. At number three, now these are rumoured to be actually happening in the new retro wave, but I wrote this list before that, and we don't even know if that's true yet. So they're gonna stay on my list at number three, and it is a Gwen Stacy and Peter Parker in their incognito street clothes. Should be very easy for Hasbro to give us this. We've already got Mary Jane. They did give us a Peter Parker unmasked head, but I would like to see him go all out and just give us this normal street clothes, Peter Parker with like a camera accessory. Um, be really fun figure to have in your display. Again, a Gwen Stacy to go along um, with Mary Jane would be nice as well. Two street civilian figures where you could pop off the heads and maybe put other things on. The ACBA community will appreciate that. And again, we're a rumoured, it's only a rumour, but we are rumoured to get them in the new retro wave. So for all those rumours and speculation, head over to Rectangular's channel on YouTube. He is the main source for Marvel Legends and he's been saying that is a possibility. So if he says it, I sort of believe him. At number two, now Sony are teasing that they may make this as a film and it's a figure we're yet to have in Marvel Legends form. So I'm going to go for at number two, a Madame 
Web. Now, when I think of Madam Web, I think of an older Madam Web, like the animated show in the 90s, where she can sit in a chair with all the web and she can control the multiverse and help Peter go through it and whatnot. So I know in recent comics, Madam Web is more of a younger female, but I would like them to go old school, again, because the animated series is burned in my brain. But it's a figure we don't have, and we have lots of figures for the Spider-Verse. We're always going to get Spider-Man characters. They sell well, we know that. So it's only a matter of time before we get a Madam Web. But I would like a, like a deluxe version. Uh, we could even get a Madam Web in the Riders Wave, where instead of giving us a, a vehicle, they give us like a throne or something. Think that would be cool. I would personally like her. So at number two... I'm going for Madam Web. Now at number one, this is a little bit anticlimactic um, as we have had him in figure form before, but I'm yet to have him in my collection. So I do think it's about time they gave us a re-release. Um, and that is at number one, I would like a Galactus. Now, we've already got the Sentinel re-released uh, last year with the light up effects and stuff, but I would like them to, to re-release the 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 Galactus, but not just a re-release, a brand new sculpt. Um, the scale could be bigger than 12 inch maybe, or even if they give us a smaller one, that's fine with me. I just want a Galactus on my shelf to stand with the Silver Surfer and whatnot and my cosmic collection. I just don't feel like my cosmic sort of section of my display is complete without a Galactus in there somewhere. So I do think it's a matter of time before Hasbro sort of repackage either the previous Galactus they've already released from the Marvel Ultimates line because that was quite big or they sculpt and give us a brand new one so at number one I would like a new Galactus so there you go there's my top 10 so let me just run them down again one more time and again this is just what I think today it's just is what I want for my personal collection it will probably change tomorrow but let's get into it at number 10 I said Toad at number nine I said Overdrive from the Superior Foes of Spider-Man at number eight, I said Mr. Negative. At seven, let's have a Marrow. At number six, Norman Osborn or a Jigsaw. At number five, I would like some Hand Ninjas in a two-pack. At number four, a classic Falcon. Not the Captain America Falcon, classic looking Falcon with the wings and a little red wing packing bird, please. At number three, Incognito street clothes, Gwen Stacy and Peter Parker with like camera accessories and stuff like that. And number two, Madam Web. If you want to give us a throne, I'll be happy. If not, Madam Web would be very nice. And at number one, an updated or a reissue, however you want to give it us, I need a Galactus for my personal collection. So there you go, that's my top 10 wish list wants for Marvel Legends. Now, if they reveal any of these at Toy Fair next week, then I'm going to be very happy. Uh, but I don't think they will. Uh, maybe one or two, I'll be happy with that. But again, this isn't my predictions. This is more so what I want to see, uh, what I want for my collection. And again, I think it's a matter of time before we get all of those on the list. But uh, it would be really good if we could tick some of them off like this year, please. Uh, so Toy Fair is literally this weekend. So... Maybe Saturday, I'll be scrolling on Instagram and I'll start seeing all these pictures prop up. And I hope that vintage wave, retro sort of Spider-Man wave is true. Only makes sense that they go for Spider-Man characters. We're meant to be getting the classic looking Electro as well. He was on my list, uh, but we've already got at least one Electro. But yeah, should be fun. And again, my list will change tomorrow. And that is just comic figures. I know it's very Spider-Man and X-Men centric, but that's my bread and butter. That's what I like. I've got a section for Spider-Man and a section for X-Men. It's the animated shows. They're burned into my brain from my childhood. It's the reason I love Marvel so much. But yes, that's my top 10 comic-based Marvel Legends wish list right now. Probably change next week. But do you let me know what your most wanted characters are in the comments below. You don't have to give me a top 10. Give me a top three. Give me some predictions for Toy Fair if you want to. Always curious to hear what you want to see in the comments below. I will read and reply everything that I see. So always curious to get involved with the conversation. So yeah, give me your wish lists what you want to see in Marvel Legends form in the comments below. And if you want to see some more lists like this, I am going to be doing an MCU one as well. So make sure you head over to the channel, check out all the videos for Marvel Legends reviews. I've had a few new ones up recently. And most importantly, please, please, please hit 
that subscribe button. Much, much appreciated. And if you're in the position to support the channel and you want to see the who is he, who is she segments come back to my reviews, then head over to Patreon and support me there. Much, much appreciated. I do exclusive videos just for Patreon. So if you want to see some more Dan W, that is where you can go. Head over to Patreon and support me there. Nevertheless, until then, people, I will be doing more lists. So stick around, subscribe, all of that good stuff. Check me out on Instagram, it's Dan Who. And until then, I shall see you on the next one.